another Ultimate Studio vlog where I deinstall my entire art show, set up a gallery exhibition for my friends, put on some mascara, and have a good time. So without further ado, let's get into the video. To be honest, I don't think these do anything, but we'll see. We'll see. I gotta go, I gotta go. I'm on my way to the gallery right now. I am taking everything down today, which is kind of correct, Ray. I cannot bear to look at my work anymore or have other people look at it because I feel old already and that's partially my fault because I posted like everything on social media and so it feels like tacky to this at this point for me. Oh, that was good. Uh, like almost like a gimmick because it's like you're making this whole spectacle out of it online and I'm still doing it, girl, and I'm loving doing it because I like posting videos, like that's also my other passion, but it's just a little compromise because then when you post so many things about your own artwork and then people get like hyped up about it but then see it in person and they're like, oh, this is really cool, but then they keep seeing it in person in a gallery and they're like, oh, so like I've been there, done that, I've seen it already, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's where my headspace is at right now. I mean, it was such an incredible experience and I'm so burnt out because of it. And so maybe that's also the reason why I'm like, oh, I just like want to take it down already because I want this thing to be over because I'm so burnt out. But yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. But I'm on my way to the gallery, y'all. I'm going to take everything down, undo the paintings, unnail the paintings on the wall, put a TV back. Oh my God, the TV is going to be a yeah. to do. That's going to be an actual yeah. to do. Shit. Okay, yeah, I need to take a TV back. Uh, it'd be like that. I'll see y'all in the gallery. Boop. I know I kept talking about how I was very excited to take everything down, but honestly, when I finally got into the space and started deinstalling, I felt pretty sad and pretty, like, unmotivated to do art, like, ever again, to be honest. Because I kept thinking, like, I was lucky that people saw it and people engaged with the work, but then it came down and, like, what does it all mean? And maybe it's naive and early for me to say this, but I have such big dreams of what my work can potentially do. And when I put so much energy, emotion, and thought, and personal background into my work, it seems like it kind of all went away for some reason. And that ephemerality just made me kind of, I don't know, it kind of just, it was sad, honestly. It felt like a little death moment. Ooh. Can I say that? Yeah, it felt like a little, it felt like the end of a story and I'm glad because I get to move on past this experience and to work for a space where my art can be seen and felt by more and more people, but yeah, I don't know, it was quite depressing to be honest, but still fun, still a great experience nonetheless. As for the deinstallation, a lot of it was just simply taking out some nails and using this big, big, big ladder to do so. It's funny because the deinstallation process took literally a tenth of what it took to install it, which of course is like kind of common sense, but like it was crazy fast, y'all. It was crazy fast, but also not fast enough because I was so tired and exhausted from the weeks preceding to just get the art show up. And every single nail you see me take out, I have to actually spackle and fill and paint over again so that the next group of artists and the next exhibition can have a nice space to show their work in.
Hera, what the fuck is going on right now? Today, red black, we're too tired. Especially yeah. Like this, so we want them to go like this. Mm. Like mm. last but maybe. Oh, and then also there's like a large pad. So if I were you, I would just kind of see what's most comfortable on my eye. I'd yeah. go like this, kind of see. Because also, you don't have short lashes. You really don't. That's why I feel like this is gonna look really nice. And this, like too much. I think that would be good. Like, um, so my eyes will be closed. Yeah. For Forty minutes. Can I pee first? Yeah, of course. The bathroom's right there. Pee break. Pee break. How do you feel with this lash lifting? I feel glad. I feel lifted. Ready for Easter. Yes. You know the song you raised me up. You raised me up. That's so. Yeah. Wow, I might fall asleep. Can I go on the ground? Yeah, of course. Is that gonna, is that gonna impede on you? Where no, are you gonna no. go? I'm just gonna wait for you. That cannot be comfortable. Sweet dreams. This is Sarvani, everyone. Hi. Um, why are we here in the backyard? Um, we're setting up for OpEx or scouting out for OpEx. Um, Sarvani is the one who started this whole thing, by the way. We're co-founders. Not really. We are they did everything. <laughs> but yeah, do you want to give a tour of the space, actually? Okay. This is our friend's backyard. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the fence. We're gonna have some like pieces over here. We're gonna have some pieces on that garage door over there. Um, we'll have some pieces on that table potentially, and then we'll have some drinks and snacks over there. For 21 year old <laughs> aged people, right. and above. Of and course. above, right. actually. Um, yeah. Perfect. After location scouting with Sarvani, I went to the ceramic studio to patch up this little crack in the butt of course, and I mixed together some plaster. I had to put in the plaster in some warm-ish water, let it sit for five minutes, and then stir it for another five minutes constantly. And I was stirring for a while. And then I got a paintbrush and started filling in the cracks. At this point though, the paintbrush is not doing its job, so I just used my finger in the end, and the repair was a success. Today is a historical day, y'all. It is a crazy big, large day. And that is because we have a gallery exhibition tonight that we are throwing. This is for my club, Spark SC. Shout out Spark SC. And my friend Sarvani is leading a committee where we are putting on an exhibition in the backyard of a house. It's a one night time thing. So I need to prepare. I put some mascara on um, and I lifted my lashes with my friend. You can't really tell on camera, but in person, y'all, I'm telling y'all, it makes a difference. I'm not really sure, but that's why I like to think. I bought this clear lash Maybelline, Maybelline New York, babes, um, mascara. Do you wanna be in the vlog, Kai? I do your... Dude, the autofocus is so bad because I dropped it in matcha. Oh, maybe drop it again. Yeah. <laughs> Cancels out, right? No, literally. Whoa. You're vlogging today? Yeah. Do you vlog today? Um, do I what? Only, only vlogging today? I think so. Are you mm. gonna vlog today? No. No vlogging today. Yes! So I need to get ready, mentally prepare for the festivities and I want to document this process because a lot of people think it's hard to break into like the white wall galleries and whatnot and that's definitely true but just showing y'all that everyone can put on their own exhibition or art show with their friends and just do it in like literally their backyard is something that 
we should all like encourage each other to do and just show our work in a fun little space. And right now, I'm going to go to Ralph's to pick up some drinks for the art opening exhibition moment. These are non-alcoholic. Oh wait, actually I'm lying. Um, I'm 21 now, so actually these are alcoholic. So I'm gonna do that now. It's a fun, exciting day, so let's get into it. Also, side note, I realized that my Canon G7X, when I film on it, it's always been filming in 720p. And I just changed the settings to 1080p. I don't know, that's like such a bad mistake and such a poor mistake. But I did it. I was like, why is this exporting so quickly? And then I was like, oh wow, it's because it's literally shooting on a pancake mode, so. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to Ralph's right now and we're gonna set up some art. So without further ado, let's get into it. I brought a light box for the artist because it might get dark later. Oh, I forgot my butt was in here. Oh my god. I'm driving to Ralph's right now, and you're probably gonna hear a little beep go off because you know what? I deadass have zero gas in my car. Um, the light went off about 10 miles ago, so I have about like 10 miles left. Um, so we'll see what happens. It's gonna be quite an interesting adventure, wouldn't you say? But Ralph's is like literally a block away, so we should be chilling. Oh, it's hot. It's hot, babe. Hey, it's not because of me. For what? I'm joking. I'm joking. I literally hate myself. Say hi and update the girlies. So we're gonna get the artist coming at 3.30, so in 10 minutes. And then we're gonna install, we're gonna have like a little fun art and drinks night. And then at eight, it, we're gonna take it all down. These are Meg's art Um, do you want to let people know who you are? Um, I'm AJ Salazar Bexton. Okay. I go by any pronoun. <laughs> Work. And um, what, are they, what are you doing for Operation Exhibition today? Um, I got a couple uh, drawings of mine with some poetry alongside it. So, okay. Yeah. Wait, do you want to show them? Um, sure. Yeah, let me get them real quick. Let's do a little tour. No rush. Also just finished the one. This is the one I just finished, like right before coming here. So sick. <laughs> Thank you. It's actually, yeah, it's like this. I don't know. It doesn't matter wow. the direction, honestly. Um, and then this is the other piece. Uh, she always wants to get lost. Okay, look, we found her so quick. Oh, so good. <laughs> Thank you. And the then I detail. just have like, my, like poetry that's all written out that I'm like gonna put down. Tara, do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Tara, Sandman Long. Um, I'm on the design team. Oh, you want to show the labels that you made? <laughs> I mean, <it's> just <laughs> labels. These, no, these are not just labels. These are epic. Name of people on their Instagram. Oh, we don't want these to That's like. so good. Yeah. I made a bunch of duplicates because I stress out. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Yeah. You're prepared. prepared. I'm like a Boy Scout. I love that. Do y'all want to wave to the camera? This is like the little, like, little art squad. Okay. Hi, uh, I'm just recording your Fuck, hand. Fuck, dude, I can't fucking... 
do this. You can do this. I believe in you. Do you know Wave Valeria? Hello. Sweet. <laughs> Danny, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Danny. Give me a bartending review, Angelo. Um, zero out of ten, because you called me a bitch. Yeah. Okay, we'll sip it. Let's see what happens. Bi yeah. Bi yeah. Ah. Oh my god, that tastes like shit. Are you trying to kill him? <laughs> what did you do? That you taste disgusting! What is in there? Uh, what's in there again? Um, it's just Sprite if you're under 21. September 6, 2002. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just Sprite. I am ta I'm tasking Christina Vo to vlog now. Hello. This is your vlog oh, now. No more brownie. Can I see myself? I love. I'm gonna show you. Well, this is beautiful. Wait, I look like love my hair and like the sun. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like vibing. This has like such great vibes. Photography. Brett tasked me to vlog for his thing. Ooh. This Hi. is. Never mind. Um, <laughs> This is Anisha. Hello. She's graduating. I this am. is Vincent. Irrelevant. This is Anthony. Hi. So freaking hot, but now it cooled down and it's like perfect weather. Can you press stop yet? Oh no, you're supposed to press stop? Ah. Uh. <laughs> um, how much rent do you pay? How much rent do you pay? How much does that fit cost? Um, my mom, like $12, yeah, $2, okay, like $200, but, um, okay, like $200? What, are you Yeah, or how big? It's a bartender. Um, um, gay son or thought daughter? What the fuck? Neither! Thought son! <laughs> wait, this is so, wait. What are the gay son and thought daughter? Gay son or thought daughter? Um, neither. We want to date them. Yeah. Th thought son or gay daughter? Them, is it recording then already or no? Already. It is? Okay. Hello there. Hello. Where are we? Who are you? Introduce yourself. My name is Britannica. Britannica. Bartender oh Britannica. my god, Britannica. What drinks oh. have you made? I can hook you up with some sangria, Oh red, my god, please, wine, please. Tito's. Tito's, give me a little bit of everything. Girl, okay. that's my cup. Do you actually want some? <laughs> yeah, actually I do. <laughs> but you don't know. No, we can do your interview first. I am making a little something for AJ. Thank you. They oh my god. I'm giving it to them. In serio. This is wait, you're over 21. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can actually put this in. <laughs> yes, no, exactly. Here yeah, this is legal. Give a little taste test. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> out of 10, out of 10, babes. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Can you say hi? To the Everyone, vlog? To the vlog, to the vlog. Duh. I feel honored. I've been waiting for months <laughs> to be on this. Oh my god, you're so I funny. I've been just writing, manifesting it, and here we are. Duh. The art exhibition went so, so, so well, and I was so happy with all the turnout. It was just a beautiful night, honestly, full of friends, strangers that became friends, and strengthening already great relationships while seeing art, which is such a fun, cool vibe. I didn't end up filming an outro, so this is gonna be it. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like the video. If you have fun comment, critique, or joke to share, comment down below. And if you like me, my art, or wanna follow my journey as an art student in LA, you can subscribe. It's a fun time here, and I think that's the end of the video, y'all. That's the end of the video.